Game six, elimination night here in this playoff series. Center's both set to dig on in, and we are about ready to go. Don't you just love playoff hockey? Listen to this place. Let's get after it. Here's a short pass to Broadhurst. Gets in front of it. Goaltender covers it up, and we'll get a reset here. Quick feed to Draws. Oh, love the defensive stick work there to poke that one away. Back to the point it goes. And the goaltender comes up with a piece of it to keep it out of the net. Shot! It's and just like that, it's a 1-0 hockey game. Nice time to like a free change. Just shooting roll in their opponent, James. I, I mean, they really dictated right from the onset of this game. That tells me one thing. They were prepared coming in. Kabarovsk's on the board. The crowd's loving it. I even think the coach is smiling on the bench, too. That's always a good thing when you look back at your coach and they're smiling because it doesn't happen often, James. <laughs> but one thing that does get a smile is a great start because they now know that you were ready right from puck drop, not from just a physical standpoint, but from an emotional side, too. Moves the puck inside the offensive zone. And they run it back with another. Yeah, back to back goal. You can feel the energy the way job by the net front player here looking back seeing where the eyes of the goaltender are and moving accordingly but if you're the goaltender you gotta out battle the net front player you gotta find a way to bob and weave and to stop that puck The checkers win the draw. The Rivermen have taken to the offensive attack. Let's get the call. You have to constantly remind yourself to move your feet and get closer to the action. You wind up reaching, you take the feet out of your opponent, and you wind up with a tripping ball. Kabarovsk's man advantage unit will take to the ice for the first time tonight. First power play opportunity for this team. It's going to start in the face-off circle, getting possession with the win, and then looking to set up. Huge steal on his own end. Sends it in front. Can't connect on the play. I'm working on all of those different drills to help them with these kinds of saves. Just flash the leather and make the save. What a glove hand. Play resumes as they win the draw here inside the offensive zone. No, you're not going to get away with that one right in front of the official. Delayed penalty coming up. It's a tripping, it looks like. Once the stick engages at the lower half of the leg or within the skates, you know it's going to be a tripping call. Well, things open up for both sides a little bit here with some four-on-four -four action. Not typically that we see four-on-four four action, although it's a lot of fun. You certainly know they practice it in practice. This is something that they're aware of. They know what they're doing. They want to possess the puck and try and create numerical advantage. Denies the shooter on that play. And he shuts the door again. That's a fantastic sequence of saves there, James. He was so dialed in, he tracked it perfectly. The checkers played along the wing. And some good footwork to kick it away. Misses a golden opportunity there. Sometimes players get into those scoring areas. They try and get a little too cute. And that's a result right there. And not hitting the net. And he's going to pounce on it for the whistle and get a stoppage in play and much needed at that. I can't overstate how timely important that this cover is, James. When you're on your heels and you're chasing the game, you need a reset button. Goaltender allows it to happen. Moscow's got it, and they're on the attack. Oh, fantastic stop there! Good heads-up defensive play as he extends the stick. 
Face off coming up here, and Cheryl, let's see if they can keep that momentum going. No question about it, James. We know where the momentum lies right now after some sustained pressure, heavy pressure, heavy forecheck, lots of shots going to the net. The goaltender is fatigued. You want to make sure that you can continue to apply that pressure and see if you can speak on by. And a delayed penalty coming up as he got tripped up. Shot just gets a piece of it to keep it out. Wow. Time for the officials to hand out the judgment. You can play aggressive, but you got to walk the edge. This is an undisciplined penalty, and it's going to be a two-minute minor. Khabarovsk's power play unit puts their hard hats on as they go back to work. They haven't scored on their power play yet. They've earned this opportunity. They'll get another look at it, look for different adjustments to be made. Takes the feed at the point. Just wide. Lee's got it near the point. Oh, and he airmailed that one. Well, he certainly did. Almost looked like he wanted to go bar down and miss by a mile. Good feed. Shoot it. Fires it. And he hangs on just as time runs out. Special teams so important. Can they capitalize on this power play here with a face-off? Both teams getting a good sweat on after this first period. We've got lots more in store, and we're coming back with a clean sheet of ice next. Period number two. The checkers open the frame shorthanded. There's still a few seconds left on this penalty that they need to kill off, and they've got possession. Power play has expired. Kabarovsk's really put the pressure on here offensively, and they lead in the second. Puck is dropped and we are back underway. Loses possession after he takes a little hit. And he gets in front of that. Goaltender covers up and will get a face off. Kabarovsk's got it in their own zone. Handles the puck. Scores! That's three in a row. Oh, it's so much easier when you're running in the game and your opponent is chasing. And that's exactly what's happening right now. Well, some players are just glue players. They make everyone around them better, and he is one of those, James. I mean, his ability to create and pass the puck is unbelievable. He knows where everyone is on the ice. He can manipulate coverage, and that pass is just a clear display of his skill. Kabarovsk's been just crushing it in the offensive zone, but it starts in the defensive end too, Cheryl. Yeah, as a former defender, I'd say it always starts there. I mean, it's got to be 200 feet in a complete game. And when you look down this lineup and you look on the ice, it starts right from the goaltender and works its way all through the offensive zone. Across the line from center. Poked away in the offensive end. Can't hang on to the biscuit after that. Scores! And my, oh my, how things have suddenly changed here. Well, it's the magic of one goal and the impact it can have, James. You go from a situation where you think you're out of it, and now all of a sudden you believe you're back in it. Complete change of the dynamic of the game. Moscow's goal has suddenly put them right within two. It's really difficult to play a full 60, but when you can finish off the end of periods really strong and get yourself back in it, it bodes well for the beginning of the third. And off the draw, they win the faceoff. Moscow's got the puck along the wall. They score! And that's back-to-back -back goals! Well, nothing like switching momentum and putting your opponent on their heels than getting two in a row. Back to back, here they come. I love the way the shooter gets lost in the coverage and really quiet in the weeds of the ice here, James. As the puck's below the goal line, you can see him moving to make himself available. And right when the time is right, that distribution comes right to him. Puck on his stick, he lets it go for the tally. 
The Checkers will look to build on some momentum here before the period closes out after that goal. They need to continue that momentum as it nears the end of the second, and they want to carry that energy into the intermission. Real important that they can have an opportunity to collect themselves and come out strong in the third. Gives them a whack, and the officials are going to call this one. Let's see the call here. Well, that's certainly not going to help the team. I mean, they're losing by one. They've got to find a way to get some momentum to get on the board. Now they find themselves killing the penalty. Havarovsk's got another opportunity here on the man advantage. Well, they haven't scored on the power play yet, man. It is a tough thing to do, and this is an earned opportunity. They practice. They know what they're doing. It'll come. More time off the clock as they grab the puck. With possession along the wall. Sends the pass over. Oh, to Dyson with the paddle save. What a fantastic save from a high danger scoring area, James. I mean, he's bailing his team out. They have to do a better job of protecting the middle of the ice. Here they come, down the right side and on the attack. And he takes a shot. Spectacular save on the play. Bobkov's been dominant in the crease tonight. He's turned away a lot of high danger shots, and he's really found a way to build some momentum for his team, give him a real opportunity to win. Welcome back, everyone. Both teams lined up at center ice, and we are ready to get this third period underway. And they have dropped the puck here on the final frame. Along the half wall with the puck. Makes the save, but barely with that one. Does it again with the stop. Musk has playing it from the side. Oh, look at this. They are really starting to apply the pressure now. And they'll skate it out of the zone. Read that perfectly with the poke check. Play whistle dead. Penalty coming up. The coach isn't going to be happy with this penalty. You have a one-goal lead, and now you find yourself back on your heels, and the penalty kill has to come out and do a job. And they'll roll the power play unit right back out. Power plays are a funny thing, especially when you're down by one, James. You have to act as if you are the hunter, and you have to possess that puck and attack. Here's a shot, and that goes off a of body. And that was a good heads-up read to make that save. Takes the feed at center and moves forward. Fires it on net, and that goes off a player in front. Grabs the puck and looks to make something happen. Here's a chance. Officials are calling. Important task for the PKers ahead of them, up by one, and a real opportunity to protect it. Face off and another opportunity to take a look at the man advantage unit here. They haven't scored yet in the game on the power play, but no need to get frustrated. They all bring a different skill set. It's the reason why they're out there. Trying to exit the defensive zone. That knocks them off the puck. On the attack along the boards. From the blue line, they take control of it. And the stick is best friend on that save right there. Nice play shorthanded as they get control of the puck. Shot. Oh, it's somehow he gets a sliver of it and keeps him at bay. Tremendous intensity here in the offensive zone. Takes the feed at center and moves up ahead. Shot! Stopped by the goaltender getting a piece of that one. It's amazing to me how he always looks like he's in the right position because he tracks and reads the play so well. And this time he gets in front of the puck that's right in the middle of the ice as the shooter's got a dangerous opportunity. Takes a shot! Oh, what a glove save there! He read that perfectly! 
Moscow's run into a hot goaltender tonight. They've had no shortage of scoring opportunities, but yet they can't convert, and they trail here in the third. Kavarovsk's won the draw. Now let's see what they can do with it. Oh, what a save as he denies them again. He's out battling his opponent right now. He is so dialed in. He's tracking the puck, making save after save. It's about time his team starts working in front of him. Picks up the puck. Big time saving goal as he gets all of it with the stick. There's the whistle. Let's get the call for the officials. Well, when you're looking for the equalizer, it's tough to take a penalty and play shorthanded, James. you got to find a way to get to even strength so you can generate some offense. Can they capitalize on another power play here? So many teams on a power play, they shrink the zone. Sometimes you have to spread it out, try and get that coverage to move with you. They go low to high quick. They're going to open up that point shot. And they get the puck out. Broadhurst got it into offensive territory. Takes the pass from the boards. Oh, and he stopped that rocket. Kabarovsk's got it near the point. In close. Log jam in front. That's broken up. Here we go. Look at this. They're really applying the squeeze down on the offensive end. Just moments away from the resumption of this power play. They're ready to drop the puck here for this faceoff. Offense is on faceoff, and he wins the draw. of this period. Kabarovsk's been the better team here over the last few minutes, increasing their lead to two. Puck is dropped and play resumes. You've got to anticipate an aggressive draw here. Well, an aggressive draw, something they've worked on in practice to look for the quick win with the extra attacker. Kamenev's won the faceoff here in the offensive zone. And play rolls on as he came up with a nice stop there. Well, that was a necessary stop on their emotional leader, James. And if he had put that puck in the net, it would have created an energy. Scores! And This is right in my wheelhouse, James. These were the type of moments that I played in. And everyone can take a breath now that the insurance marker has hit the 4 by 6 As that empty net goal went in, everyone on the bench and on the ice knew that that put the game to bed. The setters will glide into the dot. Kabarovsk won the faceoff at center. Well, yeah, it looks like he was going left, then he was going right, but his inability to convert because he ran out of room. Big save right at the end. Final horn is sounded, bringing this one to an end. A huge response to even the series, and we're going to game seven. Can you even pick one way or the other here, Cheryl? team that just tied it up. I mean, belief on that bench right now is at an all-time high, and you can talk about skills on both sides. Obviously, it's their two top teams playing, but you have to look at the, what is going to be the difference maker, and often it's something so small like belief, which is actually huge. Thanks so much for taking time out of your schedule to join us tonight. For all of us here at EA Sports, I'm James Sebalski. See ya!